human beings have been benefited by the microorganisms over several thousand years. Fermentation technology was born when early civilization took advantage of the capacity of the microorganisms to produce alcoholic beverages as well as live-in bread and cheese. So, you have microorganisms playing a role in curdling of milk, bread formation and also production of novel antibiotics, vitamins, organic acids, enzymes and so on. You are well aware that lactobacilli are the bacteria which are responsible for the curd formation. Our digestive system has many useful microbes and lactobacilli protect these microbes within our gut. These bacteria convert lactose sugar into lactic acid. This lactic acid reacts with casein and coagulates the milk. Its pH decreases, milk becomes thick, it gets typical smell and sore taste. Microorganisms themselves may serve as food but most often they are used as agents to convert the basic food such as milk or meat to a more desirable product. Microorganisms themselves are attractive food sources for human beings. Yeasts and filamentous fungi are mainly used as important human food. For instance, mushrooms and spirulina. Yogurt and cheese are common food stuff consumed throughout the world. Yeasts contribute to the baking industry across the world. Specialty meat products are manufactured by bacterial fermentation. For example, sausages and salami, etc. Other food products include sauerkraut and homemade pickles. Microorganisms can also synthesize the flavoring agents or flavor enhancers. Food additives obtained from fermentation can serve as preservative agents or as supplements to improve nutritional value of a food. A wide variety of vinegar has long been valued as a flavoring agent and preservative. Monosodium glutamate MSG is used as the flavor enhancer. A large number of vitamins and amino acids are produced on commercial level using different bacteria. The alcoholic beverages industry is economically the most significant of all commercial processes that involve microorganisms. In nature, microorganisms use enzymes to disassemble macromolecules to simpler units which serve as their carbon and energy source. These enzymes are usually on the surface of the cells and can be thus readily recovered from the microorganisms. Such enzymes have great commercial applications. Citric acid is one of the most important organic acid produced by microbial fermentation. Some microbes can produce inhibitors which can be used to control the growth of some insects. For example, Bacillus thuringiensis produces a protein which acts as an insecticide. Antibiotics. These are produced mainly by bacteria and fungi. The useful antibiotics are mainly produced by a large group called actinomycetes. The commercial production of antibiotics is accomplished in huge fermenters. Antibiotics can be classified according to their antimicrobial spectrum, mechanism of action, the manner in which they are synthesized or chemical structure. Microorganisms have been genetically engineered to produce insulin, human growth hormones, vaccines and other clinically useful compounds. Vaccines have considerable commercial value as the immunity elicited by vaccination is responsible for the well-being of the humans and animals. Since the microorganisms have a great capacity to degrade organic materials, they have been used in sewage treatment plants. Biogas is the mixture of gases produced by the microorganisms. It is a renewable source of energy. Methane is the predominant gas present in the biogas mixture. Certain bacteria grow under anaerobic conditions and produce a large amount of methane along with carbon dioxide and hydrogen. The bacteria 
which produce the gaseous mixture are collectively known as methanogens.